In this video, we're going to see how to use Scrapey Shell to test out bits of code. Okay, so I'm here in my terminal. I've already turned on my virtual environment. I'm going to call Scrapey, oh, Scrapey, our package, Shell, and then I'm going to put in a URL that I want to go to. So the URL I want to go to is for the Chi School Actions. So this is this website. I'm going to put in its URL here. Okay, great. So now you can see here I'm not in the I'm not in Bash anymore, but I'm in the Scrapey shell. Scrapey shell will load some objects from this URL. So here's a list of the things that you've gotten in Scrapey shell. Um, just to explain what's happened here, so I'll call this diagram. So before when we did Scrapey crawl chi school actions, we went to this URL and we brought back a response and we parsed it. This time when we do scrapey shell instead, it's going to this URL and it's bringing back the response and it's loading that response object in our terminal here as response here. So we can play with it and test out little bits of code. Okay. okay I'm just gonna make this a little bigger. So you can see we have this response object. Um, it has an attribute called URL. You can double check that is the URL that we went to. And now let's say, so it's loaded in this response object a lot of information from this website. So let's say we wanted to try to capture uh, this number, this date right here. We want to know that this event is on January 9th. Okay, so one way to do that is to inspect this object that should pull up some information. And so we're seeing here that this number nine, it's right here, it's inside of a span tag that has a class equal to day. Okay, so a response object has a method called CSS and that lets you select tags. So it'll let me select a span tag that has a class attribute equal to day. So this is the syntax for that. Okay, and then we're gonna extract that. Okay, great. We got a bunch of stuff, but it's kind of hard to understand what's going on. We can see here in each of these, it's span, a span tag, and it has class equal to day, and then we got a bunch of different numbers here. Right, so in order to just get this text that's inside of the span tag, we can do just like before, instead uh, colon colon text. Now make it a little easier to read. So here you can see we got a whole list of numbers. So actually we didn't just get this number nine. So this number nine is up here, but we also got the 16th, we got the 25th, you can see we got this whole list of numbers. So we got actually any, any span tag that had class equal to day. If we want just the first one, we can do extract first. And that'll just give us the number nine. Okay, so now you've seen a little bit how to play with the response object in the scrapey shell. And I highly recommend it as a place to try out bits of code. You can quit the shell by just typing quit. Mm -hmm.